starting to fail. We will continue to be fourth and fifth generation fleet tower until 2030, with both Harriers going to probably 2028 and F-18s going to 2030-2031. Lieutenant General Stephen R. Rutter spoke on April 4, 2019. Thus, the US will continue to maintain the nightmare AV-8B for the Marines for at least nine more years. This information is said to be quite surprising because the Department of Defense and the U.S. Marines have repeatedly announced plans to eliminate this aircraft line. The USMC earlier had extended the Harrier planned service to 2026 in view of delays of the F-35B. The McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II is a single-engine ground attack aircraft. Designed in the late 1970s, AV-8B Harrier II was designed to replace the AV-8A and the A4M light attack aircraft. This aircraft is capable of vertical or short takeoff and landing. It is primarily used for light attack missions or multitasking. They are separate for ground forces or armed reconnaissance. Combining tactical mobility, responsiveness, reduced operating cost, and basic flexibility, both afloat and ashore, AV-8B Harrier II is particularly well suited to the special combat and expeditionary requirements of the Marine Corps. The AV-8B II features the APG-65 Raider common to the F-A-18, as well as on previous systems. The AV-8B is widely used in the U.S. Marine Corps, the Spanish Navy, and the Italian Navy. To accommodate the vertical or short takeoff and landing, the external nozzle of the AV-8B was designed differently from the previous dress. The AV-8B is equipped with two intakes and four synchronized vectorable nozzles close to its turbine. Two of these have a prominent unheater located near the forward, capable of rotating 90 degrees. When taking off or landing, these two nozzles will rotate downwards to leave the aircraft without the need for a runway. Despite having four extra nozzles, in fact, the AV-8B has only a single engine, the Rolls-Royce Pegasus F402, providing 105 kN of thrust. The AV-8B's XR is quite small. Because there is only a single engine, the thrust is not so much. It needs to be concentrated in the narrow rings to provide maximum lift to the aircraft. In vertical takeoff, the AV-8B's maximum takeoff weight is 9.4 tons. When rolling takeoff from the short runway, the maximum takeoff weight of the AV-8B could be up to 14 tons. However, no matter how much payload, this aircraft also only has subsonic speed Mark 0.9. It cannot achieve supersonic speeds due to its aerodynamic design. The AV-8B Harrier II is famous for being the most crashed aircraft in the U.S. military. The complex operation mechanism makes this aircraft often crashes when vertical takeoff and landing. According to Pentagon data, operators have lost a third of its 337 AV-8Bs by accident over the past 32 years. The accident rate is three times higher than that of the F-A-18 fighter. However, the United States is still trying to maintain the aircraft until 2028. Accidents have in particular been connected to the proportionate amount of time the aircraft spends taking off and landing, which are the most critical phases in flight. According to many documents, American and Spanish pilots 
have complained a lot about the design of the cockpit. It is completely unsuitable for a vertical takeoff and landing features on this fighter. Specifically, the AV-8B's cockpit has a rather narrow down view angle, just 60 degrees maximum on either side, which makes landing the AV-8B on an amphibious shuttle ship very dangerous, especially in bad weather conditions. The United States had a plan to replace all AV-8B Harriers with F-35B fighters. However, due to numerous problems with the development of the fifth generation F-35B, the Americans continued to extend service time to the AV-8B Harrier. With the F-35B ready in service, the performance is not really outstanding. According to the US operational tests and evaluation, Based on a series of research results on all three versions of the F-35A, B, and C, the combat readiness level of the F-35A and F-35B reached 18%. Meanwhile, this intake with the F-35C is much lower. Based on this result, operational tests and evaluation confirmed that the current F-35 fighter cannot participate in a high-intensity war. They can only carry out airstrikes against terrorists or rebels in certain battlefields, such as the Middle East. Harrier troops entered the U.S. military in 1985. In order to extend their service life, the Marine Corps have made a series of ambitious upgrades to the AV-8B. Software upgrades will allow the Harrier to fire advanced precision kill weapon system, laser-guided rockets, and GPS-guided joint standoff weapon glide bombs. In 2021, the Harriers will get AIM-9X and AIM-120C air-to-air missiles, the Lightning Gen 4 targeting port, and the Link 16 radar tailing. The course in 2023 plans to give Harrier pilots a helmet mounted sight. The Jumjets the same year will get a new satellite communication system. New upgrades will make the AV-8B more reliable. Until the new F-35B fighter is able to completely fix the flaws and prove its strength on the battlefield. As a descendant of the AV-8B, the F-35B operated in a similar manner, vertical short takeoff and landing. This is also the version with the most technical errors and the US is still working on how to fix it. Perhaps this leaves the AV-8B in service for many more years before the F-35Bs fix all the technical problems. My video of the AVHB Harrier 2 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.